Prior to little bit late, but I thought we might as well crack it out. Why I think Didi would have won Europeans if he had not let Van Aert out. Um, now, basically, Europeans was pan flat, followed by loops of the Vanberg. It's a fake climb. They 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 made out of like rubbish and stuff. Um, and this is the loop here. You can see it's pretty technical. It's like a bike racing circuit. Um, you know, there's some ups, there's some downs, there's some pretty steep stuff as well. So. Uh, you know, an uphill finish suits Wout Van Aert, Dilly, people like them quite well. Laporte was off the front. He'd been riding on his own, and it's kind of wild that he never got brought back, considering the number of teammates they were. Uh, but then in the last, like, when they turned onto it, they had about 10 seconds left, and Dilly went absolutely thermonuclear. Now, obviously, Strava Privacy Zone has ruined a lot of analysis in sprints, uh, which is a shame, but we're going to kind of zoom in on what happened. So they came off this road here, um... Sorry, we just actually only really want to do this bit. To be honest, the last like three minutes or so, you can see 5.30 is a lot. Um, the watts per kilo I put in as weight is 77 kilos. So they come off this road here. Uh, they go, it, the climb basically starts here. It goes around the corner, up this cobbled climb. So you can see this is when he does big, big watts. Then it goes down and then it kind of goes up towards this, the finish. Um, but it, the finish is actually probably just a little bit around this corner. So anyway, uh, what we can do is if we go into the power curve, you can see some of the best watts that you won't be able to see otherwise. So if you look at like the last minute, um, or oh, sorry, actually his best minute was not there. So his best minute was 777 watts, uh, more or less, which is very, very strong. 10 watts per kilo leading up this climb. And that, you know, 38k an hour, 5% is super quick. And that's really where he did a lot of the damage. He then went onto the cobbled climb and again did some serious serious watts again 612 for 30 seconds so this was a real big effort you look at his last two minutes it was 660 watts which is huge um if we go on the power curve again you can see like this this whole bit here you know two minutes at 660 watts is wild um and again like his his final sprint was really really big you can see he's doing 900 watts um and i i think the reason why i think he could have won um ultimately is just because Wout Van Aert had sat in the whole time, deleted all of that, and he only lost the sprint by a little bit. You can see, like, on this flat part here, he's doing big watts. Like, here, he's doing a 1,000 watts, and Wout Van Aert was, like, barely coming around. And, again, it actually gets pretty steep here. It's, like, 13%, 1,000 watts. Um, and, again, you can't really see, like, the end as well. Um, I don't know, maybe you can, actually. This does look like he's kind of stopped pedaling. But, yeah, that's my thoughts. Deleted a mega, mega strong turn. I don't think many people can do that. Two minutes, 660 at the end of a race with a massive, like, zero watt part at 60k an hour. Like, that's so, so strong. And I think if he had been given the opportunity to sprint for a win, he would have done. Um, and, yeah, I think Dilly's got mega exciting future. Um, obviously, this was pretty late into the race. You can see, like, it wasn't actually... It was kind of on all day. Like, a 260 is not mega easy because it was 47 average. But then the laps, you can see it just gets harder and harder. Like, here especially, you can see, like... 400 watts for seven minutes with some big speed spikes. So it was a tough race. You know, before that, we're talking 4,000 kilojoules. Obviously, he's a big boy, but even so, that goes to show he can probably do well in also the classics, which are long. Okay, Flanders is, is a lot longer than this, but other races, I think, for sure, like E3, uh, he can do really well because those explosive efforts, he has it. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm off to Belgium next week to do some Kermesses and GP Cerami, so I'll try and keep the content going. Um, Benny and Chess watching, hope you enjoy, I'll see you in the next one.